were just talking to Reggie, obviously, and I asked him, uh, you know, how he reached out to you when he started hearing that you, you might be signing here. Uh, how does how does that help having a teammate like a teammate for the last team you're on? Uh, how does that help the transition process? Uh, it helps a lot. Um, also, I mean, of course, if I told you, call me right away when we uh, heard the news. Uh, we talked about it. We talked about it next year. We talked about also the year. Uh, before, but uh, just coming in and having familiar faces and people you work with is makes it easier. Um, earlier, I was talking about the uh, you know the change, the adjustment, coming into a new team and a new environment, uh, new building, new facilities, and everything. Uh, just having familiar faces like him uh, or KP, Tim, Trey, people I, I've been um, on the same team with, it just makes the transition easier and um, everything. Yes, just smoother. Hey. Uh, Jalen had to start a couple games, but uh, apart from that, what kind of chemistry do you feel like you and him and, and Reggie and the, the bench guys are getting now in, in that second unit? Oh, we've got a great chemistry. Uh, it's not only the second unit, it's not only the first unit, it's just the whole team, I feel like. Uh, we really feel like we are a team, and I feel like also teams uh, we facing feels that too. It's funny, I heard uh, uh, some players uh, just say, say some stuff like that a couple games ago, but uh, you know, chemistry and uh, accountability are two words, two big key words that we want to um, focus on in our uh, organization. So uh, it's going great. Defense is like doing all the dirty work on the court. What is it about the playing defense that you like best? Uh, just the the value it brings to the team. Like uh, you always need uh, defense. You know, if you if you uh, have a great night offensively, but your team is not. Uh, um, playing great defense, you might not have a chance to win the game. So, of course, you need you need to put effort on both sides of the court, and uh, that's what we're doing uh, good so far. So we're gonna work obviously to get better at, at just playing basketball. Um, sorry, oh, go ahead, <laughs> Frank. Um, you know, some guys have said that they didn't think you got necessarily a fair shake in New York. What do you think it is about this opportunity that's making it so natural for you to just kind of slot right in and, and make a contribution right away? Is there something specific that the coaching staff is doing or that you know, just that works here and has been good for you so far? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, we just, you know, taking it day by day, uh, everyone in this organization, uh, when it comes to the team, the players, the coaching staff, also the training staff, everybody is just so involved, so um, uh, committed to just being great every day and just doing everything we can every day uh, in order to get better. Uh, and we're doing that in a uh, really also good uh, atmosphere. Um, so it's just, uh, we, we enjoy just being together, just coming in every day and get, get some work in, uh, playing basketball together. We enjoy that, so, so far it's been good. All right, we're gonna do one on Zoom with Chuck, um, and then Jalen is waiting in the wings. Go ahead, Coop. Hey Frank, how you doing? Um, the the defense when you guys really get it cranked up, like you should be, you know, in, uh, bridging the first and second, and then the third and the fourth. What what are you guys doing really well that uh, becomes then sustainable for the for the rest of the game and, and moving on in the future? Sorry, I'm sorry. I said the, the, the fact that you are able to have play defense the way you did in those two big runs when you took control of the game. What is it that you're doing really well there, and and, and how do you then sustain that going forward? Uh, I think tonight what the big key was uh, finishing plays defensively, uh, not giving the open and the offensive rebound or second chances points. Uh, and I think when we fix that, and when we all committed to uh, just finishing the plays defensively, it just give the, uh, gave us a momentum offensively in order to uh, first of all, uh, go on runs uh, in the first half, then in the second half. So, um, I mean, we we, became, we become a tough team to play, I feel like, when we uh, play in tough defense because after our momentum just um, gives us a lot of energy offensively and everybody after that is uh, rolling. So um, we just got to keep on going on playing both sides of the court, like I said. Okay. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate Thank you. you. Alright, start out for Jalen. I know it doesn't matter to you starting or coming off the bench, but what kind of chemistry do you think you guys are getting uh, kind of building there with you and Frank and uh, Reggie and that group? Um, building chemistry every day. Um, I mean, those guys, they play extremely hard whether the shot's falling or not. 
So when you have guys with that on the court, um, with that mentality, it's really easy to play with. And um, a lot of credit to them. They, they come in, they do the work, work very hard, um, come prepared, real professionals. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's been showing, but it's, I love playing with them. Devin, you guys were up 22 and they cut it to eight. Then you came down and threw that behind the back pass to KP for the three pointer to put you up 11. Take us through that play. What did you see? Um, well, when KP's in the game with me and I'm pick and roll, I know that he's always a threat. So um, just seeing how the big was still in front of me as I got away from him, um, I knew he was back there somewhere. So I just <laughs> I threw it and then uh, I was able to knock down a big shot. Do you feel a noticeable difference in the spacing when KP is the only big man on the court? Um, I mean, he, he's a threat. He's definitely a, a threat when it comes to playing beyond the yard. So, um, I mean, the threats that we have, whoever's on the court, I mean, obviously we're going to adjust however we play, depending on who's on the court. But, um, I mean, it's a big difference when he's healthy and when he's on the court. When Jason was talking about how one of the big developments he's noticed is that Luka has learned to kind of how to play with you and how to share the ball with you when you guys are on the court together. How do you guys, how does he learn to play with you? Is that something that you talk about constantly? Does it just take reps? You know, how do you kind of build that familiarity over the course of 10 games now? Um, I guess it kind of starts with, uh, I mean, our relationship off the court. I mean, me and Luka are, are pretty good friends. We got here together the same year, so we've known each other the past I guess four years now. Um, he just he trusts me. Uh, it's it's really it. He just he's um, obviously I'm playing better, but um, he trusts me, and um, I can't take that trust for granted because uh, uh, it gives me confidence. Like my teammates give me confidence to, for me to play the way the way I'm playing. So um, it's credit to all of them. What's your summary of this team ten games into it? It's work in progress. Work in progress. We got a lot of work to do, but um, we're in a we're on the right path. It's still work in progress. All right, Kevin. Kevin yeah, Green, one of five of his band, Jalen. How much confidence are you continuing to play with us right now? It seems like attacking the rim with the ferocity and trying to make plays for your teammates. Can you talk about how your confidence level is and how that continues to grow for this team? Um. I mean, my confidence is uh, it's, it's always growing. Uh, uh, playing with uh, the teammates I have and um, with the coaching staff I work with every day, um, they continue to give me confidence every single day. And, um, and, but apart from that, it just comes to my work ethic. I know that if I'm always in the gym doing what I have to do to prepare myself, uh, that's where my confidence starts. And so as long as I keep doing uh, the things I do with my routine and all that, I mean, Conference is always going to be there. All right, cool. Thanks, Craigie. Thanks, guys.